More than 100 dogs rescued from a Luray puppy mill are looking for new homes tonight. After receiving a tip of alleged neglect, the Animal Rescue Corps launched Operation Liberty Dogs over the July 4th weekend. Rachel Sher is live with more on their efforts. Rachel? Hey, Morris. The volunteers who rescued these dogs say the conditions were deplorable. Six dogs were rushed to get emergency medical treatment. Two of them later died. Now the focus turns to finding the survivors new homes. <laughs> Boomer, Cowboy and Fiona are considered the lucky ones. Hey, it's hard to not get emotional when you're reaching into the cage of an animal who's known nothing but pain and suffering their entire existence. Their foster mom is a volunteer with Mutts Matter, one of several partner organizations rehabilitating and finding the animals permanent homes. These dogs came in and, you know, they kind of, um, had never seen any kind of compassion before. They're among 132 dogs and four birds surrendered by owners of a so-called puppy mill. After getting a tip, the Animal Rescue Corps contacted the Page County Sheriff's Office about alleged animal neglect. And on July 3rd, rescuers were allowed on the property. These animals were living in their own feces and urine with high levels of ammonia. They had eye issues respiratory issues. Many of the dogs were unrecognizable. There was a, ca a couple cases where we didn't even know what breed of dog it was until they shaped it. All three of Kristen Lamro's foster dogs are now ready for adoption and many more are waiting to take their place. Nearly four million dogs are produced on puppy mills every year. Nearly that same number of dogs are put to death in shelters every year. Seeing the dogs rest their head on a bed for the first time, seeing them eat clean food, seeing them, you know, just nuzzle up and that breakthrough moment when they realize you're not going to hurt them, it's incredibly gratifying. The founder of Animal Rescue Corps expects charges will be filed against the owners of that puppy mill by the end of this week. They're recommending they be barred from owning any animals for the rest of their lives. Now, if you're interested in adopting any of these animals, we'll post the details on our website. That's news8.net. Morris. All right, Rachel, thank you.